Hello and welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkian Biersma, also known as EJ. Uh, so yesterday I wanted to do a, uh, a revisit to one of my uh, Miltoniopsis that I did replots uh, recently, about four months ago on my, on my channel. And I called it uh, something how uh, my approach would be when a Miltoniopsis does get orange rot. Even though in the video I explained that I believe that this particular Miltoniopsis didn't have arc, uh, orange rot, uh, it does look similar when they sort of uh, start to absorb the older bulbs. Those bulbs start to rot as well, get that orange color, but the big difference is that it goes very slowly. And orange rot can, can spread very quickly, so I'm not 100% sure if, if it really wasn't orange rot, but Typically, uh, if you have the orange rot, your plant will go downhill very quickly. And Miltoniopsis have the tendency to get the orange rot fairly easily. So I thought I'm at least going to do one video about it, how my approach would be. And well, four months later, so I thought, well, it's a good time to do a, a revisit and uh, see how the orchid is doing. It's not one of these. But I thought, I will not start with a spoiler alert, because once you see the plan, you see the difference already. But I thought this would be nice and suitable. I have currently uh, these three in bloom, so uh, I thought it's nice to have them here. But the arc uh, we're talking about is down here, you see some leaves there. That is the actual arc we did a repot on. And I will uh, change to my second camera, so we can give it a close-up. And uh, this is uh, the orchid, and I hope you can see it. We have this old bulb here in the back, and that one, and a new growth, that is this one. But that one stopped growing, but you probably already saw it. It did decide to put out two new growths. So we have one here, whoops, and one there. So that's beautiful, even though this leaf is a little bit starting to brown. And I think that's most of the times if it uh, is a leaf tip dying back its calcium deficiency. But I can imagine that this one has it because it doesn't get completely the nutrients that it needs yet because of the lack of roots. We had some roots, but not enough. But anyhow, I checked it the other day and lo and behold, you guys, if I turn it around, uh, look at this, that. <laughs> we have another new growth. That is beautiful. So three new growths. I didn't expect that at all. I was already uh, very happy with this uh, new growth and I thought, well, at least we have one and then it may start to shoot out some roots again. But yeah, it currently is working on uh, three new growths and I hope you can see this is the uh, newest matured bulb and it is not shriveling, so that's very good. So keep an eye on that if you are in a similar situation. If it starts to shrivel, it uh, doesn't have the energy to put up three new growths. So then, yeah, what to do? You might take the, the saddest one off if you have to. But I try to leave them on because, yeah, new growths, taking new growths off, I know it sounds very, uh, very um, like something you don't want to do, of course. But if it doesn't have the energy and it's just stressed, it can also trigger the plant to put out several new growths or even spikes. So then I, sh I uh, choose the strongest one. I never had to do it, but I would if I had to. But most of the times the plants know what to do by themselves. But they can be stressed and thereby make some not so good decisions. <laughs> and put out too much uh, of new growth. And of course we're going to have a look at the uh, root system. Looks beautiful. Let's, uh, let's have a close up. Here we go. And I'm sorry for the glare, but I hope you can see the new roots. Uh, let me point my finger. There is a new root tip. Beautiful. And we have a new root over there. All the roots, well, maybe not that old, but it's a bit brown of the, uh, the hummus that I use. And that's okay. We have some older roots there. Let me uh, see if I can find a few more. Who knows? Never, not at this uh, very moment. No. I think that is it. Those are the visible uh, roots. Let's put it like that. There probably are more, but not uh, not that much. So we have over here the older roots that we did uh, 
saw in that uh, previous video as well. But we have new ones, and I have, I see a teeny tiny root tip there. Not sure if you can see it. So yeah, it does, uh, does do well. well. Wonderfully well, actually. I, I, I said in the video that I thought it would make it, but to be honest, after about a week or so, I was like, I'm not sure, because I saw this new growth dying off that was, uh, that was there when we did the uh, initial repot. And I saw dying off, so I thought, well, I'm not sure if this one is going to make it. But then I would do an update as well, because we, we started it, and I promised you guys to do updates. But yeah, it was uh, not long after I saw a new, teeny tiny new growth coming, and then uh, a few days later, another growing point, and they start both to, uh, started growing. And then, uh, like I said, I turned it around, and I saw even uh, another growth, so three new growths. Um, I think, to be honest, that all three will not have these size uh, bulbs, probably a little bit smaller, but I'm aiming for the roots now, and have the roots nicely settled uh, in the pots, and then uh, next year, next season, we probably will have better and uh, bigger bulbs and a better bloom. I think it might bloom if it starts developing and uh, mature the, the bulbs, who knows? And if it has enough roots, I'll, I'll let it uh, bloom, but probably uh, spikes with one or two blooms, something like that, I think. But I think that's uh, that's nice, it's just uh, a prediction. I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to happen, of course. We shall see, but it's nice to do another update. And so this is a little bit of a better view of the whole plant. But anyhow, I think we are saving this one. It's, it looks uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, and this is the uh, Miltoniopsis Newton Falls. So it's a very beautiful one. I really enjoy uh, growing this one. So I thought, yeah, I, it's uh, it's four months later. There's a lot of happening here in those uh, in that pot. So let's do an update. And of course, if you saw my uh, last video, that was the Bloom Buds and Such video. You probably already know what I'm currently doing. I'm uploading this video on Sunday and I need to clear out my greenhouse. So I probably be, will be very busy, um, but I'm looking forward to it. And um, yeah, I'm getting, getting new floors. So if you missed this video, I'm getting new floors in the greenhouse. So that means that everything that's on the floor needs to come out. And I probably will take some extra plants from the fell wall in as well in the inside of the orchid room here. So it will be very crowdy. I will try to film as much as I can. I'm not sure if that is going to be my next Sunday video. I, I'm, I'm trying to, because I like to be uh, on top of things, but uh, it, I can assume because of all the things that needs to be done and happening that I'm not uh, having the time to edit the video. Uh, I'll give it the time that it needs to, to edit it nicely. So it may be a week later or something. We shall see. But I'm, uh, I'm planning on at least coming up with something every Sunday. So I will you see you next week. And of course, as usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will try to come uh, back to those questions as soon as I can. Of course, you might want to subscribe, share the videos. That really helps the channel. So thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.